This video is the follow-up to that the question I asked. How do you know if you pass the peak of a dog? You know, and I think it's fitting this T-shirt that I'm wearing because uh, OTK are known as good conditioners. So it's just a little kind of a shout out to Frank and the rest of the team. Uh, when a dog's coming to peak, gen generally the way I did it was was uh, you know, it's an eight week keep. The last week I cut back on the work. And uh, when, when, you, when you cut back on the work, I didn't change the feed because the dog will, uh, the dog will continue to come down to weight. If, you, if you're above weight and then you're coming down, what happens is the dog will continue to come down to weight. And hopefully if you hit the mark, it'll be right on the weight that you want him to be on that day. Right, and there, there's some things to look for if you if you've missed the peak, and I'll give you some examples. This one was a stupidity on my part because I marked down the wrong day of the show. I marked it for a week earlier, so I started to peak the dog that week. So in contacting the my buddy, and in fact it was OTK, he told me no, it's not that weekend; it's the next weekend. So I tried to adjust and uh, it didn't work. The peak had already passed, my dog looked like crap, and he quit in 30 minutes. But he ran hot way before that. And that running hot is a key, because if you miss the peak, what happens is you'll go out for your regular workout, and they'll start breathing heavy way before they used to, e even the day before. And when I talk about missing the peak, it's usually within a day or two days or three days. I'm not talking about missing it two weeks ahead of time or something like that. That's, that's, that should never happen. But uh, they'll, they'll start to, the workout ain't the same. They'll do the work, but it, it looks like they're running hot and some people will mistake it for them being tired. You overworked them. That, that's not the case. They're, it's two different things. Overworking and missing the peak are two different things. If you overwork a dog, they're listless, they're tired, right? But, but if you miss the peak, they're stale. They're, they're, it even shows in their, in their coat sometimes. It looks raspy, you know? So, so there's a difference, and you got to practice it enough to know the difference. So, so another instance was I had a dog hooked up for, for a show, and, and the last week of the show, the guy called me up and, and, and forfeited. So I waited a week, and I hooked him up again, put him through another eight-week keep. And he, he did good, but again, he looked stale at the end of the keep. I ended up winning, but, but the first keep he, he ran, he, he, he went through it a lot better. And, and the peak was there, whereas the first peak, it was kind of off. The, the second keep... It was kind of off. And something about peaking animals, peaking dogs, or, or athletes, or whatever. You can't do it repeatedly. You can't do it every, every week or every month or like that. I'll, I'll venture to say that within a year time, you can only do it two or three times. And, and there's a scientific reason for that. I don't know what it is. But, but you can't build that into a dog and have them do it over and over again. They're, it just their body can't handle it. It has to do with their metabolism. Has to do with the, the fat and the protein intake. How they react to it. So when you miss it, what happens? Not just that physical, where 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 they don't do the workout the same, but they'll also start putting on weight. It'll start to come up which you, means you passed it, the body's reacting to it, and it's getting into that cycle again of, of after you pass the peak, that, that it, the body's returning to normal and it starts taking on, absorbing the calories, and it's not, it's not breaking down the fat and the protein like it used to. So one way to check, and this has to do with at the end of the keep, you're giving them rest. 
before the show. That helps them to pee because they're absorbing, they're retaining what you're giving them, food, and, and, but they're still burning it because of that nervous energy, because of that metabolism rate is high. So let's say you give them the two days off. If their weight starts to come down, starts, re, not starts, but if it, if it continues to come down in weight or, or they hold that weight for them two days, then you're good. If it doesn't, when you back them off and you rest them those two days and the weight starts coming up, you passed it. Now, the other question is, what do you do about it? In simple terms, if you miss that peak, there's nothing you can do about it. There's no rest. There's no adjusting the feed. There's no exercise. There's no nothing. The dog is done. And the question is, what do you do? Uh, the best thing to do is, you know, back then was to just forfeit. I never did it. And, and the couple of times that I missed it, I went through. I lost one, a couple of more I won, you know, but they, they don't look the same. You could say I got lucky or whatever. You could say I had the better dog that day. Maybe they were off too, I don't know, but, but there's nothing you can do about it. You can't change it if you miss the peak. If you're a little early, that's okay too. Because hopefully the dog will make up for it. And he's still coming down to peak. So if you miss it by a day, not too bad. Two days it starts getting funny, three days a little bit more. But I'd much rather have them catch them before they peak than after they peak. And, and, and the ideal thing is, which I've done, did most of the time, was catch them right on that day. They're wound up, they're, they're, they're focused, they're, they're got that nervous energy. You know, some dogs, when they start coming to peak, they're just quiet. They're serious. They're quiet. And then on the day of, they let it all loose. Other ones start to get restless and uneasy. But they're sharp and they're focused. You can see it in their step. You can see it in their mannerisms. You can see it in their eye. You know, they know whether it's consciously, which sometimes it is, or subconsciously, which if it's their first time, that's generally what it is. They're, they know it, and their body is is behaving a certain way, which makes their mind behave a certain way, and the, and the the physical and the mental are in conjunction with each other, right? That that physical workout it translates to their brain and tells their body they're getting ready for something, and then they just can't wait to cut loose. So, if you've missed the peak, like I said, there's there's virtually nothing you can do about it. So let's say you missed it and you don't go through with it. What do you do then? Leave them alone. Don't touch them for at least two months. Now what I used to do is, is <clears throat> if I put a dog through a keep <clears throat> to check the weight and all that, I'd do something with them, even if it was 15 or 20 minutes. And if someone forfeited that day or the day before that week, I'd finish them out and look at them just to release that just to have them to release that energy. And we called it taking the edge off. If you don't do anything with them, the, the thing is the same. And, and what I used to do, you do the same thing. Don't touch them. Leave them alone for at least two months. Don't, 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 don't get them back. And, and this can relate to uh, today's times if you're, you know, if, it's, if, if you're into the modern day sports, the legal sports. It's the same thing. Another thing we look at is, is like in boxing, in the past, fighters, they, they fight two or three times a month. Or you have champions that have uh, non-title fights, they're called. In between their championship defenses, they're still fighting. Okay. Those in-between fights, those in-between uh, uh, title fight, non-title fights, or if a fighter who's real active, they're not peaking for every fight. They're not at their weight. The champion only does that when he's defending his title, and that's when he comes down to weight, and that's when he peaks. 
but but those non-title fights in between fights just like in the past that you you know rolls or whatever the dog isn't at his natural weight he's not put through a keep so with regular exercise you can you can keep him fit you can do the sparring or you can have those non-title fights but you're not peaked it's the same thing with horse racing they race them every two weeks some of this and that when it comes time for kentucky derby and preakness all that then then that's where they're getting their 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 down to their best weight and and uh you know, horse racing is a little different from dogs because they don't take that kind of damage unless they break something, then they're done for the season or they're put down or whatever. So so you don't have that, that same stress on their body because that's what conditioning is. You're putting stress on the dog's body. You put the stress, let them recuperate. Put the stress, let them recuperate. And you do that repeatedly over and over and over until you get to a point where you think it's maximum and that's their peak and you're either coming down or coming up to weight now now when you do that <clears throat> the body's going to react so so in essence we're forcing or when we're manipulating the dog to come into peak condition it's a mental thing it's it's how you do the work and how much rest you give and the feed you give the feed the body feeds off the nutrients you're giving them the workout tears them down and the rest allows them to build back up. So that's a little bit about, about it's kind of a short clip, I hope people understand. But the dog tells you everything you need to know if you pay attention. You can tell when he's coming into top condition, when he's peaking, but you can also tell when you missed it. And, and uh, uh, like I said, if you missed it, there's, there's really nothing you can do about it. So feel free to comment. Thanks.